We're enjoying a nice warm fall. So we're up on the CCO rooftop with some delicious seasonal food and brew pairings for your fall gatherings. We have Brad Glenn from Liftridge Brewing mm -hmm. Company with us here on this Top 10 Weather Day. Brad, thanks for coming in. Well, thanks for having me. This looks amazing. And what this one looks especially fun because I love wine and cheese together. I think we all do. Sure. But you've put beer and cheese, and I love that as well. Well, right. There's a lot of complementary flavors, especially when you're pairing uh, beer and food, you want to look for those complementary flavors. So our Chestnut Hill Brown Ale is oh. real rich, nutty, has some allspice and cinnamon in it. So looking at the plate, you have these oh, cheeses that are rich, uh, some hazelnuts, dried fruit. These are all really nice complementary flavors. Yeah, that'd go very well with the mm -hmm. chestnut. And I love how you put mm -hmm. some nuts on there as well. Absolutely. All right, Lift Ridge, of course, in Stillwater. And this next one is a, a fresh hop ale, right? Yeah, ultra local, kind of hyper local beer. We use hops from West Lakeland. So right down oh, the road. Oh, you get the hops from down the road. Ooh, yeah, absolutely. Cool. So it's really uh, unique to have these beers, these fresh hop ales, out for just a few weeks because sure. you only have a really short window to brew them. So this is our harvester fresh hop ale. The thing with hoppy beers is they really work to cut through fat and and meat, you know, fattier meats. So our you know traditional brat with some mustard and that nice hoppy beer, uh, nice pairing. I didn't realize that's what the, the kind of the IPA is. You can go through and they cut through the meat. Yeah, well, and that's kind of when you're having uh, tan and red wine to cut through like a red red meat same thing hops will cut kind of yeah. cut through that it's very hoppy it's very, very nice. nice and the di is, you know fresh hop it's out for a short time because it mm -hmm. is it, it's as it says it's fresh yep. whereas most hops that go in are dried right sure yeah, yeah. yep okay this looks like it's getting really this fancy, is a little fancy look at yep. oh my i'm just going to stand here what well, it says right on the bottle it. on the bottle it says goblet worthy goblet so that worthy, is yeah. very it. fancy it's our commander barley wine we always come out with it during uh thanksgiving time a few weeks before oh. thanksgiving very very big uh, wow. traditional English barley wine, so a bit sweeter. We use a little bit of cardamom in it as well. And it's it's high alcohol, it's 12 and percent alcohol, but again, you know, you're drinking a lot of like red wines sure. with, with food too, so those are high alcohol too. Why not pair that with your Thanksgiving feast? I'm a leg guy, so I always go for the leg. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, absolutely. And then we have a little dessert too. You can no Ooh. reason to keep the beer out of a dessert pair. Yeah, right? again, kind of keeping it local too. Our friends at Lolo in uh, Stillwater hooked us up with some of their two signature desserts because you know sometimes you just gotta treat yourself and go out for desserts. What so, are these? Um, the the taller one is our a butterscotch budino which is a rich kind of butterscotch cream that oh has ma maple syrup on top. What is the garnish on top? And some like sea little salt little and the chocolate, chocolate which died right? because it's a really hot a Little sunny out here. <laughs> the chocolate should be standing uh, standing tall. And then this they have our amazing. panna cotta as well with, um, it's infused with mm -hmm. coffee beans and oh then there's gosh. some cherry caviar on top. We're pairing that with our milk stout, which is a nice cream, creamy, rich, chocolatey uh, stout called the Warden that just came out. Um, it's wonderful. So, it's very good. Yeah. I just tried it the other day. It's brand new. Let's the see. Warden. So again, very, with very desserts, good. you can really get away with going that, to that chocolate kind of coffee realm. Um, I love these two together. And again, you know, beer, you have that wide range where, you know, other drinks you really don't. So it's, it's really fun to pair all these unique things with beer. Great stuff, Brad. We appreciate you coming in. Lift Bridge in Stillwater, a great uh, brew uh, house. You can stop by and go Absolutely. visit the tap room, and we appreciate you joining us this yep. morning. Thank you very much. Tomorrow, mid